book 318. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the three gods of the underworld part three. That's right. The three gods of the underworld part three. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, in the Three Gods of the Underworld, Part 2, the child thanked the student and told him that if he wanted to get out of the underworld, he had to go towards the hill made of flesh. The student watched the child disappear and escape the underworld, and he ran off towards the hill made of flesh. When he reached it, he saw another child crying, and he wondered what he would have to do in order to get this third child to help him. Child, the student said, can you help me find my way out of this place? The child began to cry and said that he was not worthy enough to help him nor anyone else. He said that he was trapped in the underworld himself and he needed to complete an impossible task before he could escape. The child said that on the earth he was the student of a great high priest. One day his teacher went on a journey and he left the child in charge. While the child was in charge, a serious plague fell upon their kingdom and thousands upon thousands of people became sick unto death. Everyone turned to the child to help them, because, as it was in those days, the priests were also the physicians. Now knowing what to do and becoming completely overwhelmed with the task before him, the child lied and said that he had an answer. The plague caused its victims to suffer sores and boils which manifested themselves on various parts of their bodies, and the child said that if he cut those particular pieces of flesh from their bodies, then they would be healed. So, one by one, the people came to the child, and he cut from their bodies chunks of diseased flesh and tossed it to the side. This cutting caused the people immense pain, but they endured because they thought it would lead to their healing. When the child had made cuts on thousands upon thousands of people, the sores and boils came back on other parts of their bodies, and the child went back and cut them again. After he had cut so many people, both young and old, those people still died a most painful death. The child was then abandoned in the underworld by the high priest and he could not escape until he learned how to heal the disease. The child said that the heel of flesh before them was the flesh that he himself had cut off and it was a constant horrible reminder of his failure. The student gasped, it's such a sad story, but he said that he would help the child if the child showed him the way out of the underworld. Reluctantly, the child agreed and the two of them went to work. Hmm, the student said, I have an idea. As you know, the human body has the ability to heal itself. Only sometimes we are overwhelmed with too many germs at one time. Perhaps if we expose the body to a small amount of this deadly plague, the body itself will create for us a cure. The student then made a small cut on his leg and he rubbed a piece of cloth on the infected heel of flesh. Then he rubbed the cloth on his cut leg to give himself a small amount of the plague. The student became ill, but he did not become sick unto death, and over time his body fought off the plague and he was healed. Then the student and child used the blood of the student to heal the infected heel of flesh, since the blood of the student now contained the cure for the plague. The child thanked the student and stood there smiling for a long time. Then the child reached inside of his pocket and pulled out a brown sack. As the child pulled from the sack a handful of white powder, the student thought that the sack and the powder looked oddly familiar. Wait a minute, the student exclaimed, remembering where he had seen the brown sack and white powder before. That's the same brown sack and white powder that my teacher had. Before he could finish his sentence, the child blew the white powder which sat in his open hand and it flew directly into the face of the student. Coughing and wiping his face, the student tried to get the powder out of his eyes. When he did, he noticed that he was no longer inside of the underworld and his teacher, the high priest, was standing before him. To be continued in the Three Gods of the Underworld, Part 4. And so, the morning motivation of today is the three gods of the underworld, part three. Sometimes you have to be exposed to a little pain in order to learn how to endure much pain. And you have to be tried with the storms of life in order to learn how to deal with adversity. At times, things seem to go wrong in our lives and we allow these moments of struggle to break us down. When in reality, those moments are meant to build us up and make us stronger. Today, do not give up when things get tough. 
Instead, face your problems head on. Use the struggle as a teaching tool for the future and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning to order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series. Search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighern.com.